Hey, what's up guys, Matt here. Today I'll be reviewing the Unipon Airways A380 in the Flying Honu La livery by JC Wings in a 1 to 200 scale. Please check the description in case you miss anything throughout this video. My social media links will be down there. I pre-ordered this from easytoys.com. The link will also be down in the description. This is my 12th A380 model and it's my 6th ANA model. Some information about ANA. The operation space is out of Shiodome City Center in Minato, Tokyo, Japan. Main hubs are Tokyo Haneda Airport and Tokyo Narita Airport. Secondary hubs are Osaka Kansai Airport and Osaka Itami Airport. Focus cities include Nagoya Chubu Century Airport, Naha Airport and Sapporo New Chitos Airport. They were founded on the 27th of December 1952 as Nippon Helicopter and Aeroplane which is why the IATA code is NH. And their fleet as of the 19th of June 2019 consists of 265 aircraft, two of which are A380s, and there is also one unfilled A380 order. They serve 97 destinations, and their current A380 routes are from Tokyo Narita to Daniel, Honolulu, Daniel K. Inoue, and Osaka Kansai. This aircraft has actually not yet flown, this particular registered aircraft, but it is expected to be delivered in 2020, obviously to ANA. Their bus engine, engine designation code for this aircraft is 41. Let's take a look in the box here. Of course, that's really the only thing we have on there. The sticker of the model. And that is about it. Uh, I'm not sure what the idea behind the plane boxes were, unless they meant as a special edition. I know they did it for Cathay due to the fact uh, of licensing issues, but I'm not sure of the reason behind uh, the a and A380s. Let's and there we have the model, the stand, and the gears. All right guys, the model's now out of the box, but before we get started, as with the last A380, uh, you get a special card that comes with the model with some information on the back, which you can just pause to read. But anyway, let's head on to the model. All right, so we have the cockpit windows, window wipers, pedo tube, static ports, Part of the registration on the gear door 383. Then we have the Star Delivery, obviously. Uh, Star Alliance logo because ANA is a member of Star Alliance, which is a group of 27 airlines. The inboard landing light. Rolls Royce Trent 970 engines. On the inboard side of the engine cell, we have the engine strike, fan blades do spin. I was a bit out of focus, but you can surely tell that they spin. Maybe if I do this. That's better. Again, the engine stroke and the fan blades do spin. Okay, so they all spin, which is good. We'll just check uh, real quick for landing lights on the nose gear, landing taxi lights. I don't believe there are any. No, I don't think so. I don't think those are up in the upper part of the gear are lights. Okay, continuing along the wing. 
we're going to come to the winglet where we have the a a logo and then also at the leading edge of the wing we have the red navigation lights back onto the fuselage we have the flag of japan because ANA is the flag carrier or a flag carrier for Japan. ANA Inspiration of Japan, the registration number as well, JA8, uh, sorry, 383A, Juliet Alpha 383 Alpha. And then we have their logo on the tail. Let's go, uh, let's give you a rundown of this livery. So uh, this is known as uh, Flying Honu and it won a livery design competition to represent its main destination. Of Hawaii which is known for its turtle species. Blue Lani for the Hawaiian sky, emerald green kai for the Hawaiian waters and orange la for the uh, Hawaiian sunset which is this aircraft right here. And the AP exhaust, a little bit off center, but that's uh, it's okay. And now to the cockpit windows on the starboard side. Also have the pedo tube static ports, part of the registration on the gear door, front cargo container door, inboard landing lights. Trent 970 engines. The winglet with A and A on it, and also the green navigation lights on the leading edge. The rear of the aircraft, we have the red cargo container door, bulk bin door, registration number, flag of Japan. And the ANA logo. Alright, so now we're going to take a look underneath the model. So we have the nose gear, gear doors, ANA titles underneath, of course, we have an antenna and a drain valve, some knacker ducts. Anti-collision beacon, the hole for the stand, main gear gear doors, underneath the wings flaps, so that's ailerons. There's the rising sun, which is on the flag of Japan. This little extension off the fairing here, that's the fuel dump valve. The detail underneath the engines. Same on the side, but with the registration number. the drain valve and another and we come down to the APU housing and on top of the aircraft antennas, SATCOM anti-collision beacons ADF antenna and another antenna there so if the markings for do not walk outside this area flap slats, ailerons and spoilers and a logo on the inboard side of the winglet. Details on top of the engines. Same on this side, but with the registration number. And one last antenna before we reach the Hosom stabilizers. Where we have one grey dot on each one, which are the logo lights that light up the tail at night time.
And now we'll move on to the seating. So I messed up the seating in the last video. Uh, I'll let you know about that in a second. Um, but on the upper deck, we have eight open suites, rows one to two. So it's going to be from here to the first door. And then we have business class, 56 flatbed seats, rows 5 to 18. It's going to be from the first door to the second door. And then from there to the back of the upper deck, we have premium economy, 73, 73 recliner seats, rows 20 to 30. And then the main deck is entirely economy, 343 seats, rows 35 to 76. Total is 480 seats. Uh, in the last video I, I did of the a and A380, I said um, the total was different, it was way less, uh, but 480 is the exact number. So some features of the gears now. All of the gears roll, tilt, and the nose gear does swivel. One thing that's been kind of throwing me off is if you look just here, you can see it looks like a little discoloration mark on the paint. That's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's almost like it's on top of it, like there's a bit of glue, but that's been throwing me off ever since. Um, I didn't expect it on a model like this, but I have to live with it. Now let's take a look at the stand. So as always, the the white painted metal base, A and A A three eighty piece that screws on. That goes inside the model, and it sits on top of there, padding on top so you don't scratch the model underneath. And there we have it. So the gears are magnetic, can easily be removed and put back into place. So the gears naturally sit in. They don't sort of go back any further, these other gears. They're supposed to sit back just slightly. When you do one in the in flight position, the gear doors here to use if you wish. Alright guys, so this is going to be it for this uh, review. I hope you have enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. Comment, tell me what you think of this model, tell me if you're going to get it. Share this video as well so other people can know about this model and see if they want to get it also. I think it's a really cool model. Definitely if you're going to get one, I say get the whole set. Uh, I will be reviewing the other one at some point, which was the first one in the fleet, the blue one. So stay tuned for that. And subscribe for more because there is going to be plenty on the way. And this looks good from every angle. Especially like an angle like this. I really like something that looks, yeah, got a bit of a uh, style to it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.